there is an end to everything, to people's life, to tribes, to different regimes, and even to a world. But there is something which will always remain. It will always find its way out only if it survives through the huge changes. And that is civilization. Honestly, I have to say that I didn't think that I'm gonna like this movie. And I was thinking that it's one of those pretentious showing off movies, which has a really good cinematography, but it is empty inside. So today I watched this movie and I was thinking that, wow, it was really good. Actually, I haven't read the novel, but I'm definitely going to. So today's movie is Dune. And I'm gonna give you an analysis and a review by all the information I could gain through watching this movie. If I want to tell you a little bit of the plot, then I have to say that this movie is telling the story of two planets on which we find the existence of an empire, native tribes, and governors. Duke Leto of House of Arthritis is assigned by the Emperor to leave planet Caledon and travel to Arrakis, another planet. This Arrakis is a harsh desert planet, which is the only source of spice. And this spice is a precious, valuable dust, which is really vital to human's life. Something that I really admire about this movie is that the lives and the worlds that we are seeing are not that far away from what we have in here. The natures and the conditions are different for sure. But contradictory to other sci-fi movies, we are still able to see the trace of human culture throughout the movie. The carpet laid on the floor, the customs, the styles, and even the poison needle hold on to Paul's neck are all designed in familiar patterns. In fact, the medieval and eastern patterns. Also, this box by which they torture Paul to provoke his dreams just reminded me of medieval torture devices. What's in the box? Pain. And also, the veil that we see in the movie has a religious background. According to what the director has said, he wanted to picture her just like the medieval nuns, because he thinks that there is something special about this veil that makes them seem something above reality, like it gives them this mysterious appearance. The Fremens, for me, are so much inspired by those ancient Arabs and Muslims who I guess were living longer than any other people with desert and its unbearable heat. The appearance of the Fremens, for sure except the blue eyes. The scarf they are always carrying for staying away from the sunlight. Their beliefs and their stories of a survivor are all the factors that convince me these Fremens are inspired by those ancient Arabs. Also, the spice to me just sounds like the Middle East oil, the precious thing for which there has always been a fight between the nations. I would also like to talk about Jessica, the mother, the character who is two-sided. One side of her is called as Bene Gesserit, the fighter, the dominant, the controller, the one who decides for the sake of power and the maintenance of the system. The part who decides what her child be, which was a special talents, and doesn't mind what dangers would follow this child. You know who you are. You know who you are. Get off me! You did this to me! You Bene Gesserit made me a freak! But the other side is a mother, just an ordinary picture of any mother's, the one who cries and prays for her son, who is fragile at some times and would give her life for him. 
If I want to talk about Paul, I need to say that Timothy Chalamet was chosen for this role really wisely. He has this face of a teenage boy, but there is an intelligence in his manner and talk that brings us closer to this picture that he is a special young boy with a soul as old as an 80-year-old man. And also, as the director has said in one of his interviews, the more that Paul is going to the heart of the desert, the deeper we are dragged into his soul and identity. And it's all because of the nature of the desert, which is filled with silence and an impactful emptiness. The desert which leaves you alone with your internal world. So it is the impact of the landscape on human soul, the emotions that it provokes. So Paul grows up during the movie and he becomes a completed version of himself. So this was all I could gather about this movie. But maybe I'm going to give you more information in the next following videos. Also, I'm going to put the soundtracks of this movie in my Telegram channel. There are other soundtracks of the other movies in there. So if you'd like to have those, you can join my Telegram channel by the link I just put in the description part. Don't forget to follow my Instagram because, because I put some video clips in there which I can't upload them in here because of the copyright system. If you like my video, don't forget to put comments and like my video and also subscribe my channel to have the next following reviews and the movie list. Until the next video, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.